Hi, in this video, I would like to share some tips on finding company information. Tip number one, it's important to know that the amount of information you can find varies from company to company. For example, public companies, those that are traded on the stock exchanges like Apple and Intel and Nike, are required to share a fair amount of information with the government and the public. While private companies don't have the same kind of disclosure requirement, making research a bit more challenging. Researching subsidiaries can be difficult too, as the parent company is not required to report detailed financial data on its subsidiaries. The availability of information also depends on the company size, location, and media presence. Usually you can get more information on a U.S. company than a foreign one, and some companies are covered more extensively in the media because they are fast-growing, innovative, controversial, or consumer-oriented. To find out whether a company is public, private, or a subsidiary, and which databases are the best starting points, take a look at the company research flowchart listed in the company research guide under this video. Tip number two, when researching a company, you should get information from both the company itself through its website and sources outside the company. For example, for public companies, the library databases include not only basic facts such as company history and financial statements, but also value-added content such as SWOT analyses, uh, court cases, and other information. Tip number three, it's always important to not only research your company itself, but also its top competitors, the industries it operates in, and the broader environmental factors that may impact the company. Make sure you check out sources that will provide context, such as industry profiles, market research reports, trade publications, business magazines, newspapers, industry associations, and social media. Tip number four, even when a company is public, disclosure of certain types of information is voluntary. This means that if the company is not sharing it publicly, you will need to rely on estimates or speculation by analysts or journalists. Articles from newspapers, trade publications, or industry blogs may offer some clues. Sometimes when information is not readily available, you may have to make your own educated assumptions. For example, look up industry averages if you can't find detailed financial data for private companies. Even when you're looking at SWOT reports in library databases, evaluate the information carefully. Analysts can have very different opinions on the same company. Your job as a researcher is to consult multiple sources, consider the different stakeholders and their points of view, evaluate and synthesize the information you've found, and come up with your own conclusion. If possible, primary research such as interviewing staff at the company or its customers and competitors should also be combined with secondary research, especially when it comes to questions related to internal policies, practices, and culture. I hope this video helps you get started on doing company research. For more information and links to recommended resources, please consult a company research guide listed under this video. Here is a brief recap of what we've discussed. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask us. Thanks for watching.